to give me your name. Yeah, hi, uh, my name's Steve Surridge, and I'm here to talk Law of Attraction. Exactly, so my name is Lorraine Depire, and I'm um, giving a, a, a talk today about the Law of Attraction, and this gentleman has come along um, to, to talk to me about it, which I'm really pleased about. Do you want to say a little bit about, you know, what you... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, I'm the producer and presenter of a new wellbeing web TV show called Living Life Larger. There's no mainstream education in wellbeing, and it is, and you know, mental health and sort of crisis is 21st century issue. So that's what's driven me to just get this message up. And I think it's because it is such a personal thing. People don't want to, you know, appear in front of strangers in a room and say. I'm struggling kind of thing, it's very personal. So that's where I thought, okay, the safety of, you know, um, watching it either in secrecy on your laptop or on your phone. And, you know, if it's presented through a television show, that's on the web, it's out there to the world mm -hmm. and people can watch it on demand at any time, anywhere. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to mm -hmm. start getting people, you know, informing them and planting the seeds and then when they're ready, mm -hmm. Because yeah. it's needed, yeah, and we it's, need it. and it's continually, and you have to sustain your well-being, and you never know. And what, once you, you know, you know this. Once you've got the mental tools in place, that I would say that the physical tools and the behaviour tools follow, because mm. you've sorted out your mind, mm. and then you you become resilient, don't you? And life is always throwing challenges, but you, I, I the, what what I teach is that we've, you know, that everything in our life is a story. And we love stories, don't we? The first things we hear as kids is like fairy tales and all that. And then we watch like films like Star Wars that changed my life and that. Mm. Oh my God, I had chronic fatigue for 15 years because mm. I was teaching myself. Uh, well, I had, I had myself a, a negative narrative playing in my head unconsciously. That was the worst thing. And life just sucks. It, and you just feel your energy just is ripped out of you. Mm. I was exhausted. So this law of attraction mm. stuff completely saved me, but it made me it's conscious. Very, very interesting because um, this relationship between the um, conscious mind, taking control consciously and the subconscious is something that I talk a lot about and I spend a lot of time um, helping people with. Right. Because um, like you said, you didn't realize. So, that's what's so fascinating about this whole process is that we are able to actually em employ a conscious method towards bringing yeah. things to us and manifesting. So the thing is, though, that um, if there is a, a, um, a subconscious and even an unconscious, and we all have these uh, narratives going on underneath, uh, that is challenging that. So, you know, if... Um, you know, you're going for an audition, let's say, as we're, we're in the Theatre Delhi today, where they do a lot of uh, auditions here. Um, and, you know, you've got a, a narrative that's going on, like, who do you think you are to think that you could be an actress? Or, who, who you know, you think you're so great? C uh, come on! You know, the monkey on the shoulder, which yeah. is just na da da. Now, that's a very simplistic example. How do we um, move through all of that and consciously get to a point where we are creating the world that we want to live yeah. in, both for ourselves and for everybody else. And that and is that's the crux of the matter. feeling, isn't it? Through how we choose to feel. That, that is the, exactly we, right. We're the magnet of our life. We're the central we are. magnetic point of our life. Several times in my life, many times in my life, I have had what I call empowerment breakthroughs, which... Um, other people might call nervous breakdowns. I call them empowerment breakthroughs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what what uh, I've learnt to do through uh, my own practice and my own study of the law of attraction, and all of the other things, the practice, spiritual practices, and the uh, the reading and the studying with everybody from Deepak Chopra to Esther Hicks to Wayne Dyer to Louise Hayes, many of whom have instructed me personally. Um, I uh, have learnt and I've evolved um, a thing which I teach now, which is called quantum visioning. The way that I see it is that uh, we are 100% responsible for everything that happens in our lives. So, you know, it's the great I am the I am, which has a, a macro and a, a micro aspect to it. So the micro aspect is that, um, you know, 
I am the center of my universe and everything that I do will, you know, uh, but the macro uh, uh, aspect of it is that you are all in the universe. We are all in the universe. At a certain point, matter and energy are interchangeable. And so therefore, you are me and I am you. Yeah. We're all, We're all the same we? stuff. Yeah. So on a macro level, it's all happening at the same time intimately. Like it's this, this lady who's just come in, she's like, oh, what, where, what, what have I arrived? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm here, good I'm gracious. <laughs> so this has um, been an absolute joy to have this conversation and even to film it as well. So I think we're gonna just say thank you very much. Yeah, indeed yeah, for, for, um, for- This lady was off camera, you need to- <laughs> Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, off camera, the camera, the yeah. voice of- The anonymous the lady <laughs> off camera. And, um, and uh, so this is uh, Lorraine Depire, um, Law of Attraction, Courage to Live the Law of Attraction over and